the records we have show that the total number of Kenyans who have lost their lives in the Gulf region is 316. The breakdown is as follows. Saudi Arabia, 166. Qatar, 58. United Arab Emirates, 51. Iraq, 25. Bahrain, 10. Kuwait, 6. Oman, nil. Iran, nil. The total, 316. Aspect C of the question, uh, let me see if I'm going carefully. The issue is what support does the government provide to families of Kenyans who die overseas? And could, and could I provide uh, details on uh, Mildred? Uh, Madam Speaker, upon receiving a report on the death of a Kenyan abroad, the first step that our missions do is to notify the family of the demise of their loved one. The ministry does this by liaising with the employer the foreign recruitment agent, if they're foreign based, and the local recruitment agent based in Kenya to establish information about the deceased and next of kin. Two, the ministry also has a robust counseling department that offers psychological support to family members, including managing of the information, assessment, counseling, preparation for travel, for a family representative or family member and coordination with family members to receive the body of the deceased. The ministry also establishes the migration status of the deceased where possible, coordinates with the employer, the government agencies, diaspora groupings, other stakeholders and the family while ensuring that the body of the deceased is well preserved ahead of repatriation back home. The ministry also follows up on the benefits and entitlements of the deceased person from their place of work in accordance with the applicable laws of the host country. Fifth, the mission facilitates obtaining of a post-mortem report to establish the cause of death and provides necessary documentation to facilitate the repatriation of the body back home. This includes issuing a no objection certification for the body to be transported to Kenya. The ministry also facilitates administrative procedures, including police investigations, if any, and a settlement of hospital and medical bills as appropriate. The ministry also coordinates with the disease family on the arrival, at the arrival port and date and facilitate to receiving of the body. Where the disease is not employed, or, or, or out of immigration status, the embassy liaises with the ministry to inform the family to enable them to make necessary arrangements, including sending a representative or a family member to facilitate repatriation of the body back home. Madam Speaker, there are limited resources available in terms of government support and facilitation for actual payment of bills of the deceased, as well as repatriation of mortal remains. However, in extreme cases and on a case-by-case -case basis, the Ministry has invoked such support for extremely needy cases. 